if the amount of heat required to raise temperature of two mole monoatomic ideal gas by one degree Celsius at constant pressure is ten calorie, then change in internal energy of the gas is the value of gas constant is given, which is two calorie per Kelvin per mole, and the options are six calorie, twelve calorie, nine calorie, or three calorie. So, students, first of all, for this question, we need to know the relation between delta H and delta U. Delta H is equals to delta U plus delta P V, and we are aware that P V is equal to N R T. So, delta H is equals to delta U plus delta N R T. Since we are given that number of moles is two and temperature is changing by one degree Celsius, so the equation becomes delta H is equals to delta U plus N G R delta T. But in this question, we need to calculate delta U. So, delta U is equals to delta H minus N G R delta T. Let's put the values. The value of delta H given is ten. Minus N G has a value of two moles. The value of R is two given, and the value of delta T is one degree Celsius. So, which is one, which gives a total of ten minus four, ultimately equals to six calorie. That means the correct option is number one. The value of delta U is six calories. Moving to next question, which is eighty-two. Enthalpy change for conversion of O two gaseous to O three gaseous is plus one forty-nine kilojoules per mole. Change in entropy of this process at two ninety-eight Kelvin under equilibrium is the options are forty-seven joule per Kelvin per mole, five hundred joule per Kelvin per mole. The next is two seventy-three joule. Per Kelvin per mole, and the last option is 573 joules per Kelvin per mole. Students, we have already discussed the relation. Delta G is equals to delta H minus T delta S, and as we know that at equilibrium the value of delta G is zero, so delta H becomes equals to T delta S. So the value of delta S is equals to delta H upon temperature. We are given with the values of delta H. And temperature. So let's put the values. Delta H is equals to 149 kilojoules represents thousand upon temperature, which is 298. We need to solve the problem. Two, which is equals to 500 joule per Kelvin per mole. That means the correct answer for this question is option number two. Moving to next question, which is 83. For a phase change. H two O liquid to H two O gaseous at one atm and three seventy three kelvin. Correct option is the options are delta H equals to zero, delta S equals to zero. The next is delta U equals to zero, and the last is delta G equals to zero. Student, for this phase conversion, we know that delta H is greater than zero. Delta S is greater than zero, and delta U is also greater than zero. Only delta G is equals to zero. That means the correct answer is option number four. Moving to next question: If the enthalpy of hydrogenation of cyclohexene and benzene are minus x kilojoules per mole and minus y kilojoules per mole respectively, then resonance energy of benzene will be The options are two x minus y, y minus x. Next is y minus three x, and the last option is x minus y. Students, in this question, we are given that on hydrogenation of cyclohexene, the value of delta H is minus x kilojoules per mole. That means when Benzene, which has three pi bonds, is hydrogenated. The value of delta H expected must be minus three x kilojoules per mole. But we are given that in case of benzene, the enthalpy of hydrogenation is minus y kilojoules per mole. So we can calculate resonance energy, which has a formula delta H. 
calculated minus delta H experimental. The value of calculated is minus 3x kilojoules per mole and the experimental value is minus y. So minus minus y which ultimately equals to y minus 3x kilojoules per mole. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question which is 85. If enthalpies of formation of CO2 gaseous and H2O liquid at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm pressure respectively are minus x kilojoules per mole and minus y kilojoules per mole, then enthalpy of formation in kilojoules per mole of C2H4 which is ethene will be. We are given that enthalpy of combustion of C2H4 ethene is minus z kilojoules per mole. The options are z minus 2x minus 2y, z plus 2x minus 2y, the next is z minus 2x plus 2y and the last is z plus 3x minus y. Student, first of all I am writing the combustion reaction of ethene which is C2H4 gaseous plus O2 gaseous gives 2CO2 gaseous plus 2H2O liquid. Now students, enthalpy of reaction is equals to summation of enthalpy of formation of products minus summation of enthalpy of formation of reactants. Now enthalpy of reaction is equals to enthalpy of combustion of C2H4 which is ethene since this is a combustion reaction which is equals to enthalpy of formation of CO2 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by enthalpy of formation of water minus enthalpy of formation of C2H4 because the enthalpy of formation of O2 will be 0. Since we are given with the values, let's put the values. Enthalpy of reaction is minus Z. So minus Z is equals to enthalpy of formation of CO2 multiplied by 2 which is 2 multiplied by minus X plus enthalpy of formation of water multiplied by 2. That means 2 multiplied by minus Y minus enthalpy of formation of C2H4. So students, enthalpy of formation of C2H4 is equals to minus 2x minus 2y plus z. As a result, we can clearly say that correct option for this question is option number 1. Moving to next question which is 86. Mm -hmm. 